sometimes you might want to enlarge in the eyes of a subject. This is my friend Kelly. Eyes look fine, but let's just say she wanted these to be a little bit larger. Uh, normally we would go to filter, liquify, and I'm going to zoom in here so we can see. Okay. And then what you do is say use the bloat tool. I'm going to use the right bracket there to make it a lot larger. And you just click in, but it really distorts the eyes, right? So instead of the liquify tool, what we want to do is make a selection. So go ahead and open up kelly2.jpg if you want to follow along with this support file or open up another photo. Click on the lasso tool and we want to click and drag around the eyes here. And we don't want to click and drag right on the eye. Leave a little bit of room. Hold shift so we'll add to that other selection. So we can select them both at once like so. And I selected a little bit too much up there. So I'm going to hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just don't want to get too close to the eyebrow there. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And what we want to do is feather this edge. So go ahead and go to Select, Modify, Feather. And I'm going to do a 10 pixel feather radius for this example. And then press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. And what that'll do is you can see we now have those selected eyes on their own layer. So with this top layer selected, press Control T on the PC or Command T on the Mac, or we can go to Edit, Free Transform. And there's a couple transform options here, like Perspective, Warp, Scale, Rotate, Skew, Distort. So we don't have to do necessarily any of those. What we can do is up at the top where it has width and height. Instead of just clicking and drag the corner like that, just type in 105. And notice it doesn't do the height though. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is selected here. Now 105 here will be 105 there. Hit the check mark here to apply those changes. And here's before, here's after. It looks a lot better than the liquify effect, and it's a little bit more subtle. Now let's say you had an edge and you wanted to erase some of it, it went too far out. We could just add a mask on the bottom of the layers panel and paint some black in with a nice soft edge brush, and it would just remove the edge a little bit there. In this example, we didn't necessarily have to mask out the edge. I'm just showing you how to do that in case you have some pixels that there's a real obvious edge to it. Maybe if the feather wasn't enough and we can just paint black in and it makes it a lot more subtle effect. So that is enlarging eyes in Photoshop. Now I did adjust both eyes at once. You can also resize one eye at a time if that's easier. And instead of using the lasso tool, you can also try using the elliptical marquee tool and clicking and dragging like that. One reason we might want to use the liquify tool even after we've done the transform effect is to just make part of the eye larger, for example the iris. So then you would go to filter, liquify, and then we need to zoom in a lot here, so I'll just not that much, control, command, minus. All right, and then we just use the bloat tool. And instead of having a huge brush like I did with the first example, you just make it a little bit smaller. And then it'll make the iris a little bit larger. All right, and then you hit OK. There's before and there's after.